It's time for another chapter review of My Dress Up Darling. Let's discuss what happened in Chapter 104, the implications for our characters, and my predictions on where the series is going. Spoilers. Duh. Welcome once again to Musings by Danan. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danan. I'm currently reading over 600 manga and light novels, and my two favorite genres are fantasy and romance. So on this channel, we talk a lot about both of those genres, but we tend to look more into story structure and tropes rather than how cool the fight scenes are or how great the animation or artwork is. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically, if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. I gotta be honest, this chapter hit like a truck, especially with how my life has been going recently. I'm gonna get a bit personal here, and I apologize, but it will help you understand my perspective for Chapter 104, especially with what Marin is going through. I've been looking at a career pivot for a while now, getting out of the technology space and back into my passion, English and teaching. In order to be a teacher in the United States, you need a certificate, which means going back to school. And I was planning on doing that very thing this fall. I've already worked it out with my current employer that I would reduce my hours when school started. But then, an internal recruiter reached out to me regarding a new position at my place of work. The position would more than double my current salary, which is amazing for both me and my family. But it also means I'd probably have to give up on my dream of becoming a teacher, or delay it for a bit. On the other hand, the rewards would mean other parts of my life would improve. More money for savings for future emergencies, upgraded equipment for making videos, it would also involve travel, which means less time spent streaming, but the other rewards from travel would more than make up for that. There's a great deal of stress that comes with this decision. Fortunately, I have a loving wife who is great at communicating and editing, and we've discussed this issue at length. I'm not keeping my feelings and thoughts bottled up. We're in our 40s and have ironed out most of our communication issues long ago. Unlike Marin and Gojo, who are still teenagers, Gojo has to spend more time working to become a Kashirashi, an artist who specializes in making doll heads. But he spent so much time working on cosplay recently that he hasn't picked up a brush in months. And Marin feels that she has forced that onto Gojo. Gojo has been putting aside his dreams for hers. The guilt is more than she can bear. In fact, this whole chapter is about guilt and Fukuda-sensei masterfully demonstrated what regret and guilt do to people throughout this entire chapter. Specifically, it is the regret of forcing others to conform to your dreams. Empathy is a learned skill. There's a reason children aren't tested for psychopathy or sociopathy. A sociopath is someone who has no empathy for other human beings. It's not a character defect, it's a mental disorder. They cannot generate care for other human beings beyond what those humans can do for them, or to them, any more than a deaf person can hear the words coming out of your mouth. But because empathy is learned, children often don't have it. At least not yet. Additionally, children don't understand the consequences of their actions because their prefrontal lobe isn't fully developed. So, a lack of empathy combined with a lack of understanding of consequences means children can say nasty, vicious things and not understand that their words have impact, at least until later. We finally get to see Nanchan's perspective of the events leading up to her yelling at Gojo, and it is clear she regrets what she did. Gojo was in deep mourning after the death of his parents. He stayed huddled under a blanket all day for weeks at his cousin's house. Nanchan, the girl next door, would come over and try to cheer him up. At night, she would hear him crying. She'd offer to watch TV with him, even read stories to him. But all her efforts were in vain. Nothing she did could cheer up Gojo. But one day, Gojo suddenly started smiling. And it wasn't because of her, it was because of some stupid dolls. Nan was jealous of the dolls and angry that she couldn't be the one to help Gojo so she took her anger out on him. She clearly regrets what she did, and I feel bad for her. Yes, yelling at Gojo was a traumatizing event, but remember, she was a little kid. But even so, with the look that Gojo gave her, it's clear that he hasn't forgotten, nor forgiven her. Maybe if she'd said something, he'd be able to forgive her, but Nan was too nervous to say anything. 
but Marin wasn't a kid. Well, she is still a kid, but not a small child like Nan was. She's 15, and this isn't the first time her selfishness has caused Gojo pain and suffering. Remember, in the anime, at the end of episode 4, or chapter 10 in the manga, Marin realizes how hard Gojo has been working for her sake. He had to hold down the fort while his grandfather recovered, study for exams, and make Marin's costumes all in just a couple of weeks. He worked himself past the point of exhaustion to help Marin achieve her dream. In fact, most of their interactions for the entirety of the manga have been about Marin achieving her dreams. Gojo is always following her around, going to festivals, taking photographs, making costumes, cosplay events, even birthday parties. Marin realizes how selfish she's been, especially now that her own wants and desires have been interfering with Gojo's dreams and goals. Marin loves Gojo, to the point that her personality has changed. Marin is far more serious now than she was at the beginning of the series. She's been thinking about her future, and I'm not talking about her next cosplay. Before, she just worked to pay for her hobbies. Anime merch isn't cheap, and cosplay can be even more expensive. But now, she's considering a career as a cosplay model. But if Gojo becomes a Kashirashi, he won't have time to make her costumes. In fact, because he agreed to help her achieve her dreams, his own dreams had to be set aside. At least temporarily. But that's only what's happening inside of Marin's head. She feels horrible about what she's done. Again. However, we know that Gojo's craft has improved. Yes, he hasn't picked up a brush in months, but what he has done is study faces. The reason Gojo had such a hard time painting faces was because he never looked people in the eye. He only ever looked at dolls, and dolls aren't people. They are copies of people. So when Gojo went to paint a face, he was creating a copy of a copy. But that's not the case anymore. He spent the last several months immersed in both art and people. Gojo's biggest problem prior to meeting Marin was that he was trying to pour from an empty cup. Creativity requires the consumption of art. There's a saying in writing, write what you know. That is a double-edged sword. If you want to write, you need to know, and the only way to know is to gain experience. You can get that experience from traveling, chatting with people, watching shows, or reading books. The problem was Gojo would go to school and then come home and work on Hina dolls. He never watched any TV, didn't play video games, much less hentai games. He didn't have any life experience. Marin gave him that experience. She helped widen his world and brought color into his gray life. So even though he hasn't spent any time in months working on painting Hina doll faces, he's become better at it through practicing on Marin's makeup. His sewing skills have leveled up because of all the costumes he's made. And most importantly, he's looking at people's faces. Gojo's interactions with his classmates has helped him to study faces, which has improved his skills at painting Hina dolls. So once again, the problem boils down to communication. All this time that Gojo has spent with Marin hasn't been a distraction or roadblock to his goal of becoming a Kashirashi. In fact, it's been a boon. Sure, the path may seem windy, but it always does when you're on it. It's only when you look back that you see just how far you've come. All experience matters when it comes to the creation of art. So, if you want to be a creator, expose yourself to new ideas. Listen to different music. Talk with people you normally wouldn't. Read books that are outside of your normal interests. Or go watch a play. All experiences, both positive and negative, can be used creatively. As far as what the future holds, we seem to be approaching rock bottom for both of our love interests. Yes, I say love interests because each is in love with the other, but both are too scared to change the status quo. But as we've seen in the most recent chapter, the status quo is already changing. Marin got invited to become a full-time cosplay model, and Gojo already had a path laid out for him to become a Kashirashi which means that if staying together is important, they need to talk it out. Marin just needs to find some courage to tell Gojo the truth, which I believe will open up Gojo to telling Marin the truth as well. Romance manga tend to have a confession around chapter 100, and I think we're almost there. Remember, Valentine's Day is coming soon. 
How soon? Who knows? It could be in two chapters, or it could be in ten. Fukuda-sensei knows that some days deserve several chapters, while in others, weeks pass. I'm hoping for another tear-filled apology that finishes with a confession. Though not from Marin. She's become too cowardly. I want a confession from Gojo. It's almost like our introvert-extrovert couple dynamics have switched over the past 50 or so chapters, and I think I know why. Marin never gave a crap what other people thought of her. She would always do her own thing. Confident, sexy, and lives how she wants to. Except lately, she's been forced to examine herself, her future, and her feelings. She's full of self-doubt. Meanwhile, Gojo finally has a friend who has helped him to experience life. His confidence is growing, at least as far as social interaction goes. So my prediction is that Marin will have another crying apology soon, and this will result in Gojo confessing to her. Maybe it aligns with Valentine's Day, maybe it won't. But remember, our couple is just 15. They're high school first years. Give them a break if they're acting like awkward teenagers, because that's exactly what they are. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor, Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash There are several tiers to choose from. You can pick an anime or manga for me to do a video about, or you can join our monthly manga club. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Dryya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Mark, Borgi, Naswin, Midge, Alex, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Michael, Skinwalker, Austin, William, Dan, Pi, Dead Segway, Turner, Triz, and Scott. You guys are awesome. I post anime or manga videos often, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Musings by Dean.